Welcome back to Rob's Crawls, guys. In today's video, we're actually going to be rescuing fish from a fish store that is closing. But before we get into the video, please like the video, subscribe to the channel, and turn on post notifications, and let's get right into the video. So, in today's video, guys, I actually caught wind of a fish store that's closing. They're called Professional Fish Keepers, I believe. They're in Coral Springs, Florida, and they're actually shutting down because more or less the landlord isn't going to renew their lease or something of that nature. So they need to move all their fish ASAP. Now I have two tanks where we could potentially rescue fish. It really depends on what they have and what's compatible with the fish I actually keep. So we've got a saltwater aquarium. We could throw saltwater fish in for the rescue. And we've got a freshwater tank where we could rescue fish for as well. We've got my pair of discus in here, a Monte Cristo cichlid, a bunch of Remy Nose Tetras. So a lot of fish that are not very aggressive. So we are going to be looking for more of those peaceful fish to rescue today. And as far as the saltwater tank goes, we might even take some of the corals and other stuff. Everything at that store is 20% off. So if you're in the area and you're looking for something and you see something in this video that you like, make sure you definitely pull up because they need to sell off all of their livestock before they actually move. Move, and uh, nobody knows about it nobody knows about it so I'm making this video so hopefully it reaches somebody who could help them but I'm gonna do my part today and try to rescue some fish for both of my aquarium all right guys so we're now at professional fish keepers the store they have a 20% off state or store-wide uh, sale and pretty much we're just gonna run through here and I'm gonna do a little tour of the place we're gonna run through all the tanks see everything they got in store they got 10 percent off all of these live or not the live off the dry produce and 10 percent off the skimmers and the sumps but they got this saltwater side that turns into fresh water all of these fresh or saltwater tank and a ton of fish we got to get through so we're just going to fly through here go tank to tank and just figure out what we could bring back home with us that makes sense because obviously i don't want to get anything that isn't going to make sense so i'm already second off rip we could possibly get this convict tang right here because I only have two tanks since the sail fin died and got caught up in that uh, wave maker, but I don't want to get anything that I don't want to have to take out back out from the tank because then I got to destroy my scape, move all the corals around and just stress everything out. So I'm trying to avoid that. So we got to make smart decisions when we're rescuing these fish already. There's some clownfish right here. There's all kinds of stuff in these saltwater tanks, guys. And we're going to get to the freshwater stuff in just a second. We're just going to do a quick little run through. Blonde Nassau tank. Ooh, do they have a six line wrasse in here? Because I could actually use one of those to sort out my flatworm issue. But I'm not seeing any of those. And we got more fish down here. There's fish pretty much in every little nook and cranny. So we're just going to fly through the store. We'll get to the corals in just a second. Down here, what do we got? More clownfish. I'm just looking for something funky, you know, something that I can use in my reef tank that could be fun to keep. Ooh, this guy's got great color, but Flame Angel, I don't think is the move. There's so many tanks in this place, guys. You know what? <laughs> I think we found the fish we're gonna be getting for the saltwater. This fish we're gonna be rescuing, it is a Flame Hawkfish. They're super neat little fish. I'm probably going to be getting him because he won't harm the corals. He won't mess with any of my fish. And he'll just be a funky little guy to have around in the reef tank. Up here, we've got some nice rabbit fish. A bunch of really, oh, a clown. Uh, a tomato clownfish, some fowl fish, some really nice fish up here. Come down here, even more fish. You know, there's so much to go through. We're just gonna fly through it all. Now, this is where the freshwater starts. Now, for my discus tank, I'm looking for things that are kind of like tetras, things of that nature. You know, community tank fish that aren't going to mess up anything I have. He's got some giant garami down here. A whole bunch of stuff. A funky looking catfish, or is that a goby? But I have no idea. I see a nice pleco right here. Some Congo Tetras could be really cool. You know what? I think we'll rescue the Congo Tetras. Because I've only got my two tanks. I don't want to mess them up by getting something that shouldn't be going into the tank. So, you know, I got to make sure. We got a lot of nice Severums here. If Bobby was here, I would definitely get one of these Severums, but he's not. So, <laughs> I don't want my discus to fight. But I'll probably come back here with Bobby Bass Fishing Productions in just a couple of days. Hopefully, they still got some of the stuff in these tanks but this is pretty much the end of this side of the freshwater section funky looking fish flag tail catfish is pretty weird man this jaguar fish is mangled bro over here we've got a freshwater clam <laughs> that's pretty cool some angel fish a nice little planet tank with some nerite snails and stuff down here we've got a turtle tank if you're into turtles definitely come through and buy some of these i don't actually i could see if blake wants these turtles 
Um, there's a chance Blade wants them, um, but I don't know, it's hard to say. Over here, we've got a rack full of invertebrates and stuff of that sort. We got some nice urchins in this tank. I'll probably take back one of these guys, especially this guy. I kind of like how big he is or rather how small he is it looks really cool oh this guy's even cooler so i'll probably get one of these guys as well but we got another tank with some wild corals look at this anemone this anemone is looking crazy whole ton of stuff and now i'm not trying to be too dramatic you know because i am in public you can see just how big this store is it's kind of crazy and then over here we got some african cichlids now we're almost at the end of all the selection guys if you see anything you want search up professional fish keepers and you'll be able to find it but we got a bunch of african cichlids down here and what caught my eyes, guys, right here, first of all, there's a scat. Scats are giant, but look at this parrot. I'm definitely going to hit up Bobby. We're going to come back and get this for his ponds, one of his ponds, or one of his tanks. And then also in here is a giant Oscar. I mean, look at the size of my boy. He's pretty much the length of the tank. So we're definitely also going to pick him up as well in the future. They got some rainbow fish in here, but I don't know if they're the same species. So I don't want to get a group of them and they don't school together. So I think we're gonna get that hawkfish. Oh, look at that. The pleco's chasing the goldfish. But we're gonna get the hawkfish and some other stuff and then add them to the tanks back at home. Before we actually run off and grab some of the fish I was looking at, um, we got some corals down here. Nothing honestly is looking too great. Everything's looking pretty down bad. Um, we got some fresh egg cans right there that look good. So the hammer's not looking bad. We got some shrooms and rastasillas. The back right here, I can't get a zoom that are looking actually really solid, but a lot of the stuff um, definitely needs to be rescued or moved out. Um, it could definitely be doing better than it is right now, but honestly, guys, I just don't have the budget for this. You know what I mean? I'd have to be making. Oh, that's a nice little tank right there, but he'd be near impossible to catch out of this tank. They got some giant anemones in this tank. That is really cool to see, to be honest, but ultimately, guys, I don't think there's going to be much I can do for the saltwater stuff just because, even with the discount, you know, I really can't afford to do it, but. It's really cool. Really cool little tank regardless. Really nice goni right here. But yeah, you can see a lot a lot of the corals are on their way out, guys. This hawkfish right here actually looks awesome. He looks like a really healthy flame hawk. So we're gonna be getting this guy right here. We're also going to be getting this convict tank. I just saw him grazing. He looks really good and I only have two tanks in the tank right now. So keeping them in odd numbers should be just fine. They shouldn't, there shouldn't be any conflict between the tanks and my current tank. Oh my God. What is that? A brown jawfish. That thing looks crazy. And honestly, I might get some of these rainbow fish in here. It really depends. Um, I gotta figure out what species they are. All right guys, so I've got fish right here. So all I'm gonna do is, I'm gonna pop open their bags, dump their water in. You know the drill. You know how to drip back from it, I'm assuming. If you don't, you just take a piece of airline and drop it in there. But we're gonna take the first fish, the flame hawkfish right here. We're gonna get him in the bucket right now. I'll show you them after I add them in. Boom, flame hawkfish. And then we have the convict tang right here. Boom. Get them in the bucket. And then boom. So now we're gonna let them sit in here for like 30 minutes and then we'll add them into the tank. But this is gonna be where they're gonna chill out. You can see the tang looks super good and so does the hawkfish. They were honestly the healthiest fish I saw there, so should be good. All right guys, so it's been a little bit over half an hour and we're now ready to add the fish we saved from that fish store into the tank. Real quick though, a little update on the caiman lizard. He's all fat and happy, looking awesome for sure. Look at him, he's put on so much size. He just got through his first shed. He's looking awesome, but onto the fish. So I'm gonna grab out these fish. I'm just gonna add them by hand. We got the hawkfish right here. He's in my hand. All right, guys, you ready? Now he's ready to go back into the tank. And these guys actually can't swim. So believe it or not, uh, they don't have a swim bladder. He's just gonna be kind of like flying around here and there, just going surface to surface and using his fins to actually hold on to stuff. But it's gonna take him a little bit to get comfortable. And now we've got the cell fin tang, or the convict tang. It's a nice, clean looking little tang. It's gonna look super good in this tank and it's gonna help out with cleaning the tank a whole bunch. But if you enjoyed the video, you wanna see me go back to that store and save the rest of the fish with Bobby, please like the video, subscribe channel, and turn on post notifications when we'll get there. That is it for today's video. I hope you enjoyed it. I'll catch you guys in the next one. Deuces.